All right. All right, new topic. New to no, 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 new topic. Stop it, continue. Where we, we were doing uh, last class, last class we were doing functions. Shear and moment functions. So you get an equation which is a function of x that will give you the shear diagram and the moment diagram, right? Now we're gonna keep on the same idea. Now we're going to use integration to do this, this to find these functions and how uh, how mathematically speaking these things have a relationship between them, which is low shear and moment. Low shear and moment are related. Um, so let's see, let's see how these three things are related. The shear and the moment uh, appear as internal forces in the team because there is low. If there is no low, there is no shear, there is no moment. Right? So we are now going to see what is the relationship between those, those things, the load and the shear and the moment. So that comes from this. Let me do a little, a little diagram here, put like a, it's like a beam. Uh, it has a reaction here a reaction here and it has some load it has some load right usually we represent the load this is a general load this is a general case for this discussion that's the load that changes changes over the length of the beam or uh, there are there might be sections where there is no load doesn't matter that happens in many things. So uh, let's analyze what happens in a little portion of the beam here. I'm going to make a, a, a free body diagram of a little portion of the beam here. I'm going to make a couple of cuts here. So, so I can analyze what's happening in the beam. So this is our little cut of the beam. That's our little cut of the beam. So let's see the forces that act on this beam. And this, this is a, a little, a little slice of the beam. It's gonna have shear, right? It's gonna have shear here. Uh, it's gonna have shear here. I'm gonna put all these, all these forces, and I'm gonna put on this little cut. I'm going to put them in, in positive, uh, in, in the positive direction. So I'm going to develop formulas here. So you, every time you do that, you have to put the, the entities in the positive direction so you don't get like a minus sign involved into your equation. I, there is also moment, right? In general, there is also moment, a moment here and a moment here. You recognize those as the positive, the positive uh, direction of shear and moment, right? You see? Right? Do you understand this diagram? Do you understand what I just did there? Everybody? Let me try to do a little thing here. If I if I cut if this is like this is like if I cut the beam here, we have done this many times, right? We cut it like this. I make a cut here and I get half of the beam that will be this, right? But I'm not doing the whole beam, I'm just cutting a little bit here also, so making just a little thing. A cut of a little piece, a little slice of the beam. To see how the shear and the moment develops. So let me remove that. Okay, I hope you understand this. So what I have here is, in this, in this side here, I have uh, a cut of the beam, and I see the shear and the moment, internal forces in the beam. And I do the same on this side. And this distance is a very little distance. It's, it's, I'm going to call it, since it's so little, I'm going to call it delta x. This distance is delta x. means that it's a very tiny slice of the beam. OK? 
okay? And the load, I am using one load here, a little, the, the load here, so it has some kind of load here, right? A piece of the load, right? And this, this load is W of X, right? But since this is such a little slice, the load cannot, doesn't change much. So I can approximate that piece of, that piece of load as a rectangle because it's such a tiny slice. I'm gonna put labels on all this stuff, this stuff. I'm gonna call this, um, oh well, and also another thing that I'm doing here is I'm taking this cut at a distance X from the origin like we did last class. So this will be the shear at X, right? And this will be the shear at X plus a little change in the shear because as you move to the right, the, the shear is changing, right? You know that the shear is not constant, it's changing. Um, <coughs> Okay. Well, we are trying to find the, the, how the how the shear changes and how the moment changes. So I have the shear here, and here I have the same shear plus a little bit of change in the shear that is going to occur from here to here. Same thing for the moment. This will be the moment at x, and this will be the moment at x plus whatever was the change from, from x to x plus delta x. All right. So now we have the three body diagram. So let's study the equilibrium of this little piece. Let's do summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero. I'm gonna do positive going down. So I'm gonna get the following equation. Oh, you, you have to be very familiar to free body diagrams and equations of equilibrium. At this point, I've been doing this every single class, right? So you can tell me what is the equation here. Why don't you tell me what do I have to write here for an equation of equilibrium, equilibrium on this free body diagram? Anybody? V of x, yeah, it's just the forces, right? I'm gonna start with this one, it's negative, right? Well, I can't, no, let's start with a positive one. Vx, plus changing Vx, plus changing Vx right? Minus Vx. Minus Vx. Any more forces? Any more forces, anybody? This one, right? Uh, since this is such, it's such a little slice, the change here is very little, so we're going to approximate this as a rectangle. Approximate that as a rectangle. So what will be that load? And it's going to be positive, right? It's a rectangle that on this side is intensity, whatever is the load at that point, and the horizontal um, magnitude of that rectangle is delta x, right? So it will be wx delta x. And now what I do? What do you do? Equals to zero. Why still people don't put equal to zero? I do it in every single class. That's for completeness, right? If you know what you're doing, but it looks awful without the equals to zero because it's just without the zero, this is a bunch of that's what you should do with this. In mathematics, we always do with equations. With the equal sign, it makes this becomes an equation. And from here, we see the Vx with the Vx goes, right? And then what do we, what do we have here? Um, delta, delta V of x equals to minus wx delta x, right? So well, I'm going to go from delta, from delta x to dx. So making delta x go to almost zero, right? So it's a very tiny slice. 
if, if we move delta x, if we take delta x to towards delta x, so we have the expression dv of x equals to minus x dx. And if we integrate on those sides, we have that v of x is equal to minus integral w x dx. That's our first achievement here. So this is telling us that you can get the shear diagram by making an integration of the load. Right, that's what that means. All right. Now let's do summation of moments. I'm going to do summation of moments about this point here. I'm going to make summation of moments about this point here. Summation of moments about the point at x plus delta x has to be equal to zero, right? Because this is in equilibrium, it's not, it's not going anywhere. I'm going to do positive in this direction, and then I get m of x. If you are saying positive, you are talking about the one on the right, right? Yeah. This one. Because we are talking about, so this plus this. The moment at the right side, then let's put the moment on the left side, minus mx, right? Yeah. M of x. Any more moments? The w makes a moment, right? So you have to put like a concentrated load here in the middle to replace that force, that distributed load by a force here at the middle, right? And the intensity of that load is W of X delta X, right? Mm -hmm. Positive or negative? Positive. Positive. W X delta X. Any more moments? Oh, no. That's the force, not the distance, right? Force times distance. What is the distance? If we assume this is a rectangle, half of the base, so times delta x over 2, right? Everybody got that? Any more forces that produce moment with respect to that point? This force produces moment. This one doesn't produce moment because it goes through the point. But this one produces moment. It would be Bx times delta. Right? Um, negative, right? V of x times delta. Delta x. And now we run out of forces. So now we say equals to zero. Equals to zero. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Um, mx and mx goes away. And this is a second order term. This, this is like delta x squared. So delta x is a tiny number. If you raise that tiny number to a square, it goes super tiny, so we can, we can assume this is going to see this. We can uh, neglect that and say this is zero. And then we have, what is the remaining stuff here? Delta M of X minus V of X delta x equal to zero. And we're gonna go to the delta x going to zero, going to, to very tiny. We say that delta x will tend delta x to go to dx. Then we have the expression dm of x equals v of x dx, right? And we do the same here. We do the integral at both sides and we have m of x equals to integral of v of x dx. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's all I wanted to tell you. You can go home. I am telling you that the shear is the integral of negative. Negative the integral of the load 
and the moment is the integral of the chip. This, this. We're going to need this, we're going to use this to get the, the equations, and we're going to need this concept also to do the graph in a, in, a, in a method that I will teach you next class that is kind of easy for many flows. This, what we're going to do today is, is basically when you have a, a beam, a beam, where you can apply one equation for the whole thing, so no many discontinuities, because when you have many discontinuities, which is many loads, it's just too much work. You, you use it for actually for a beam that are just one, one segment and one equation for the whole beam, or maybe two at the most, but you don't know many forces, many, many forces with this kind of method that I'm going to tell you right now. It's very similar to previous method. In fact, we are going to use part of the, what we did last class to, to do problems with this. Let's do, let's do this example with those twelve. Now, let's calculate reactions. Reactions. For reactions, you take your beam. Let's put here reaction at A, reaction at B, and then you replace that load by a concentrated equivalent load. In this case, it's rectangular, so the, the equivalent load is in the middle, right? Will be something here, and what will be the magnitude of that load? What? Let me let me change this because in in term in more general terms, this is what I've been calling the value of x, right? But in this particular case, that is constant all along. I'm gonna call this like a, more like a constant number. Usually, we say something like. W not. You say this is W not. So I'm gonna work with a beam that has a concentr a, a, a distributed load of a magnitude W not everywhere. So it's a rectangle. So the area of that rectangle will be W not L, right? And then uh, how do you say that? Just common sense? Just this, this two, this two are just common sense, right? We can get it without summation of forces in the y direction, right? We can say what is it? R A equals to what? Equals to what? Right, right, right. And this one too. I guess for this now we can we can just leave it like that. You should be able to find those reactions. So this is W not L over two. This is W not L over two. Remember that the first equation that I developed in the previous page is shear. I'm gonna put it here. Is shear of x equals to minus wx dx, right? Sometimes the students have trouble getting this equation, the equation of the law. If, if you have told them the equation of the law, let's do the shear just by the previous method that we did last class. Um, to practice the previous topic, and I'll, and, I'll, and I'll do the next example just with the, also with the equation of the law. That method was you make a cut, right? You make a cut at a distance x. So we have this kind of diagram. And we have here the, the distributed load. This is W naught. And then I put the, the cheer at the moment that I'm going to find the, the, the cheer, right? So I put the cheer in the positive direction. Cheer. 
shear at x because this is this this distance is x and the moment here we don't need the moment at this point but let's put it there anyway the moment at x so we say here summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero and we do positive it doesn't matter what what post what is positive i just put positive down and i get here what v v of x what else hmm? what other what is the next force here Uh, positive or negative? Negative. W not L over 2. Anything else? W not X. And that's it, right? And that's it. Positive or negative? Positive. Positive. W not X, right? So we have V of X equals to W not X. No, that was negative. The other side is W not L over 2 minus W not X. That's the equation of shear. Now let's do the moment. How do we do the moment? Remember, the moment is moment is the integral of the shear. Right? So, moment is equal here to the integral of W not L over 2 minus W not X dx, right? You get the shear, you put it in the integral dx, and that's how you get the moment. So, let's do that integral. That will be uh, W not L over 2 X minus w not x squared over 2 plus c. So how do you get this cost? Because this is a, a, a indefinite integral, so we need a constant here, right? How do we get this constant? Do you remember? Do you remember the calculus? <laughs> if, if you know the, the question has so this is moment at x equal to that equation. If you know the moment at a given point of x, then you can put a number here, whatever number here, and then you can solve for c, right? Do you know the moment at some point? Well, but we can find the moment at, 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 at for example, very easy to find it at x equal zero in this diagram. Let's do this diagram with x equals 0, and it's going to be easy to find this because 0 will um, eliminate a lot of stuff. I don't know if we, I need to do that diagram. Maybe let's do it so you know what I'm... I, I, imagine this x equals to 0, right? So it's going to be like a, a slice that doesn't have horizontal dimension, but right? still I'm going to put a little dimension, so it will be a slice like this, right? where this is zero, right? <laughs> that, that dimension, the horizontal dimension is zero. This is x equals zero, right? That's the, the length of the zero the slice of pin. The diagram is going to be, uh, this is on the wedge. Let me put the force here. This force is W0 L over 2, right? L over 2. Uh, I have a little a little piece of load here, right? W of x, right? And I have uh, well the, I'm gonna calculate it. Well I have here the chair, the chair at x equals zero, and I have here the moment at x equals zero. You like that diagram? I love that diagram. So I'm making a, a cut here very close to the edge. Just, just at the edge. When x, x equals 0 to the right, right? 
starting the starting the the, the, the length of the beam here, very close to the support, but the support is already there, that's why I put it here. And then I can find the moment at x equals zero. I do summation, summation of moments about x equals zero, has to be equal to zero, I'm going to do positive in this direction, so then I have moment at x equals zero, which is this one, right, this one, right, what else, this force multiplied by this distance, right, but it's zero, right? So, plus zero. Plus the moment produced by the, the law that goes here, which is Wx times zero, plus zero over two, right? Zero so again. I'm gonna put it so you know what I'm writing here. So that would be plus, no, that would be minus, right? Minus. W of x times 0 times 0 over 2, right? And that summation is equal to 0, so from here I get that the moment at x equals 0 equals to 0, right? Do you understand what I did right there? A little bit confusing, right? A little? <laughs> I am trying to calculate the moment right here, when x equals 0, right here at the beginning of the, of the, of the beam. So this diagram, it's the same diagram, it's the same diagram, but here you have x a little larger, here I have x shorter, very little, basically 0. So this distance is 0. And that's how I get this equation of equilibrium, at this moment, plus this moment, multiply by zero, is this zero? Plus this force multiplied by half of the horizontal distance here, which is half of zero, so it's Wx times zero, times zero over two. That's, uh, everything is zero, 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 so mx equals to zero. M, M, the moment at x equals zero is equals to zero. So we can put it in this equation, We can put it in that equation and we get that um, m at x equals 0 is equal to w0 over l over 2 times x, but we are doing x equals 0, right? Minus w0, x squared is 0 squared over 2 plus c. So this is 0, this is 0, so I get that moment. Oh, and, and this moment, sorry, and this moment is equal to zero, no? so, so this is equal to zero. The moment of, the moment of, the moment at x equals zero is equal to zero, so that moment is equal to zero. So, this c plus zero plus zero is equal to zero, so c is zero. That's all we wanted to come. C is equal to zero. Now that we have C, we have the equation of moments complete, right? The equation of moment is, the equation of moments for this beam is W naught L over 2 times X minus W over 2 X squared plus nothing. That's the equation. The equation of shear was here, up, up here. This is the question up here. This is the question up here. Oh. Okay, let's go on this. More questions about this example? Okay, let's go on this. More questions about this example? Let's do another example. Let's do another example. This is this is so easy that it's, it looks confusing, right? There is almost no questions there. 
what is the load here? No load, right? How you do it without load? Let's calculate the reactions first. The reaction at X. Oh, we can put reaction at X here, but since there is no forces in the X, that's going to be zero. So, moment. This cannot rotate here because this is so fixed with a lot of. So, we need moment there. Moment. Moment at A. Now we can find the reactions. Can you find the reactions? Yeah. Hmm? Well, in, in the in vertical direction, su super easy, right? Super experts on vertical direction. What is the reaction at A? Six, Six right? We don't need to do it, right? We don't need to do that anymore. From now on, I, I, I pardon you, you do this because it's so easy, right? But if you have a little question about, I'm not sure, do summation of force in the y direction equal to C, right? And then you solve for RA. Be careful. If you don't have it really clear, you, you cannot do it on your head. So reaction at A equals to 6 going up, right? A moment? 18? Right, right. But if you are not sure, what do you do? You do summation of moments about, let's say, point, point, point A equals to zero, positive in this direction, and then you do the whole thing. Um, MA uh, minus six times three equals to zero, so MA equals 18, right? I got it uh, positive, so it's correct in that direction. This is this is the correct direction, right? So the moment is the, the reaction here. This moment is 18, and this reaction is six. Okay. Shear equation. How do you do the shear equation? I am using the method that I, did, I explained last class. So let's do it by that method. This is this, this, I like the method a lot. Because the other method is to develop the equation of the load and then you make the integral of the load and you get the shear. But that equation of the load confuses the students a lot. That's why I am not doing it just now. The next example I'm going to do with that. But this one, let's do it by cutting here and finding the shear by analyzing that piece of thing. The same as we did last class. You are working on that homework already? No? no. So let's do it like that. This is the best. I recommend the that method. So the the diagram will be, I mean the yeah, the free body diagram will be a cut right there. The reactions will be six and eighteen. And the shear in the positive direction. This, this is shear at x, and the moment in the positive direction, this is moment at x. And the distance here is x. Remember, this is the diagram that you have to do in order to find, to find shear and moment. In last class we did both. In this class we're going to do only cheer and then we do the moment by integral. Okay? So you do summation of forces in the y direction equals to zero. I'm gonna do positive uh, going down so my, my V of X is positive in my equation. But it's the same if you do negative, positive going up, it's the same. So it will be V of X minus 6. That's it, right? Yeah. Equal to 0, right? So from here you get your equation of shear. That's your equation of shear. Now let's do the equation of for moment by integral. 
to moment is equal to the integral of shear dx. So it's equal to the integral of uh, 6 dx, right? To replace the shear by whatever the equation is, the equation is just the 6. So what is this integral? 6x six plus c. How do you find that c? Let me put the equation here. Moment of x equals 6x plus c. So it's almost ready. We just need to find c and then we have the equation, right? How do you find c? Well, if you know the moment and I give it x to replace those values here and you solve for c, right? Do you? No, we don't, but we can find it. The same way I did last time. Right? I don't know if you can see it just, just like that, because it's right there. It's right there. I'm going to do again the little cap here at x equals 0, right? Here. It's like a little slice. I don't know if you guys understood that. I'm going to do it again very slowly. I, I cut here right next to the support. Right next to the support. So we are into the into the segment here, or the, into the beam. But just at the beginning, when x equals 0, it's very easy. Actually, we could put any, any x and find it. Right? For so you will see with the next method that I'm going to explain, you're going to see that the best way to choose is x equals c. But it can be any point. It can be any point. Let's do x equals c. So you have your beam. Your beam is long like that, but I'm going to make a cut really close here, right? So that diagram is, is this, this little slice that I put like this, where this distance here is zero. It's, it's, it's nothing. It has a moment here of 18. This is the, the, the reaction, right? It has a reaction here of 6. And it has here a shear at x equals 0. And a moment. A moment, I'm going to put it in the positive direction. at x equals zero. I want you I, I, I want to make sure you guys understand that diagram. It's basically the same diagram as here, right? But when x equals zero, when x is really little here. Right? That's why that, that diagram is. And if you do summation of moments equals to zero in this diagram, what you get? You do summation of moments at x equals 0 is equal to 0 and I'm going to do positive in this direction then I get m of x equals 0 what is that? this is this moment right? what is? what is my summation? Hmm? how do you put this one here? Plus or minus 18? Hmm? Plus. Plus, because my, my conversion is this, right? So plus 18. Any other forces that produce moment about, about this point? Well, 6 times 0. Right? Since, since that's so little, this force is 6, the moment is 6 times 0. So it doesn't show up in here. So that would be equal to zero. So from here, from here I get that the moment at x equals zero is equal to minus 18. Do you remember why we were calculating this? What was, why, why, what uh, we are doing this for? To find the C, so that you forget. <laughs> So, so now we can find C. We get this equation and plug those values here. 
m at x equals 0 is equal to 6x plus c and that moment is equal to 0. We can't know it's equal to minus 18, right? Right? We just found that moment at x equals 0 is equal to minus 18. We found it here. So we apply that the equation is equal to minus 18. This is equal to minus 18. We replace x by 0 and we find c. So we have here 6 times 0 plus c equals minus 18. Therefore, c equals to, this is 0, minus 18, right? So now we put it back into our moment equation and we got moment of x is equal to 6 times x minus 18. Okay. Understood? That's it. So we always have to do that little diagram. <laughs> well, no, when you get practice, you will know that this is the reaction. This is the reaction, right? The reaction is the moment at zero. But I want to show you how you come that this is the moment inside the beam. It's kind of like outside the beam, right? The reaction is kind of like outside the beam. If you make it like that, just not just there, the moment inside the beam is that moment. What is this positive or negative? Let me start or look at it here. It's positive or negative? Hmm? No, no. <laughs> well, how do you know if a moment is positive? Uh, is what? It's sad. Is sad or happy? It's sad. Then the moment is what? Negative. Negative. So when you see a negative moment here as a reaction, the beam, the moment at that point is a negative moment of 18. In this case. That, that this moment is the moment at the beam at that point. It will become more clear when we draw the diagrams by hand next class. And you will see also that this force is the chair at that point. The six is the chair at that point. Let's do the other problem. This is more, more complete, and, and I do it with the equation of the law that I, I want to do that for you before the class is over. Um, this, this diagram, how about that one? Do you like it? Beautiful, beautiful. Let's do that one. Really good. Reactions. Can you calculate the reactions? Okay, so I'm going to skip that part because we don't have enough time. I'm going to copy there if somebody wants to take a picture or something. All right, those are the reactions. So let's start from the very beginning. Uh, we, we have this, this thing has a discontinuity here, right? You, you should be able to see those discontinuities. So you have to do one set of equations for shear a moment on this segment and another different set of equations on this segment. So let's do this first. So from, from A to B, so let's, let's say something like from a to B, so 0 less than X less than 9. Okay, I'm going to do it with the equation of the law. I'm not going to do the cut here to find the shear diagram or the shear equation. I'm going to do, I'm going to find the equation of the law. I'm going to the integral of this law to get the shear and then the integral of the shear to get the mark without the trick of cutting here to find the chair. So, do you see what is the equation of this law? Do you see what is the equation of that law? What is the equation of that law? This is, this is W of X in this case. This is the famous W of X that we have been talking all the time, right? This is W of X. 
So can I, can I write it here as an equation, W of x? Because this is not in general. We were working a little bit in general before. But this is not in general. This is a, a, a given value of 30 pounds feet here, 9 foot here. So I can write this equation here for this law. What, what that equation is telling us is what is the law at any point here for any value of x? What is the, what is the value here in the middle? What? Let me see in the middle, in the middle of the bin. Can you tell me the load in the middle of the bin at 4.5? What is the load here? Hmm? Yeah, it's 30 pounds. Yeah, right? If here is 10, right? What is the load here in the middle, in 4.5 here? 15, right? What is the load here? Zero. And what is the load here? Okay. And in the middle? Fifteen. What did I say? Did you find? <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? Yes. Fifteen. Fifteen, right? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> An equation that I want to put in here is an equation that tells me what is the load at any point x on this on this team. So in the middle at 4.5 is half of this, right? Fifteen. How do you express that with an equation, not just with numbers? Well, how do you express that? What shall I write here for an equation that tells me the value of the load at any point? This is a straight line with, what is the slope of this straight line? What is the slope? Hmm? 30 over 9. And what is the intercept? Zero. Zero. I don't know if that's a better, a better way for you to see the equation y equals mx plus b, right? Where the slope is 30 over 9x plus b is 0. So that's the equation of the load. That's the equation of the load. You see it? What? This is the equation of the load. The equation of the load is an equation that tells you what is the intensity of the load at any given point. If you replace x, by 9, you should get 30, right? 9, 9, you get 30, right? Mm -hmm. If you replace x by 0, you should get 0, right? But you get 0, 0 here, 30 here. And if you do 4.5, 4 you should get 15, right? OK. And now, look how easy this is. Shear minus integral of load. So minus integral of What is this integral? What is that integral? Hmm? Right, right? Is x squared over 2, right? The integral of x is x squared over 2. And six and one because it's an indefinite integral, right? And now, how do you get six and one? Well, let, let me put the equation here. It looks, it looks nice if I put it here, like v of x equals to minus 30 over 2 is 15 over 9. Um, negative minus 15 over 9 x squared plus c. How do we find a c sub 1? So we can find c sub 1 if we know the shear at any point we can replace x for that point and get the shear and we have it here. I'm not going to do the little thing that has zero no. you see the chair here is at a, which is, we uh, found it, 110, no, at a is 25, right? Let me put it here. This is 25, and this is 110. So the chair, the chair at x equals 0 is 25. Because if you have any doubt about that, do my silly slice of zero thickness 
and, and find it by summation of forces in the y direction. Right? But here we can now say, say it will become clearer and clearer as we do more, more stuff on this. The shear at x equals 0 is equal to 25. And if we plug the equation will be minus 15 over 9 at 0, right? So 0 squared plus c sub 1. If you solve for c sub 1, you get that c sub 1 is equal to 25. Right? Okay, I tell you to do your little zero thickness slice of your home so you are convinced that C sub 1 is 25. And now we plug it into the original equation, which is this one here. So D of x is equal to minus. The, ah, ah, actually, the question was right here. No, the question is here in a, in a better. This is a better. That's the equation, but before we find C sub 1. But now that we have C sub 1, we can write 15 over 9 is squared plus 25. That's the equation of shear. Okay? Like it? But now, moment. Integrate the shear. Moment. Equals 2. Integral of 15 over 9 x squared plus 25 dx. So it will be integral. So what, what, what did you get here? 15 over 9 x cubed over 3 plus 25 this. Plus C two. And, and less than it. You see there is no moment here. So the moment here is zero. To get moment here, we got a, a, a fixed support against the wall at, at, at the left, the left end, or end of the beam. So here the moment is zero at x equals zero. So we can use that knowledge to find C sub two. You say moment at x equals zero is equal to zero. So you replace x equals zero is equal to zero. By, by 0, so this is equal to 15 over 9 times 0 cube over 3 plus 25 times 0 plus C sub 2, so you get C sub 2 equals to 0, so your equation is moment of x equals to uh, what is the equation we have? Oh, here, here, here is, this is the equation that I want to. So that would be 15 over 3 is 5, so 5 over 9. x cubed plus 25 x plus 0, right? Hmm? You're just trying to scare me. Okay, so that cheer, cheer and moment for zero to nine. Now we have to do the, the other part. Got it up to there? Now, hmm, from B to C, let me copy this here so you can. Copy. From B to C, so 9 less than x less than 13.5, uh, we have the following. W, what is W of x for this, for this segment here? What is W of x? Zero. There is no low here anywhere, right? So W of X is zero. So my the integral of zero. <laughs> that's it. It's a little confusing, right? But that's what it is. 
shear of x is equal to minus integral of w. I'm going to do the whole thing wx dx, so it's equal to minus integral of 0 dx. So it's equal to minus 0 plus c sub 3, right? And how do we find c sub 3? How can we find this up here in India? In India? Well, let's make a cut here right after point B. The same way we have been doing before. Right? We make a cut right here, right after. I am not even right. A cut right here, right after point B. Cut just to the right of B. So how do we get that that cut? So it will be something like this. We have a moment here of 180, uh, a shear here, uh, I'm going to put it in the positive direction, so that will be shear at x equals 9, right? I'm going to put 9 plus to indicate, to indicate that it's just to the right of point B. And I have a moment also, right? It's still moment. Remember, you always put those moments in the positive direction. Moment at oh, x equals 9 plus. A little bit to the right of point B. This is point B. This is point C. Okay. So, summation of forces in the y direction equal to 0. Um, positive going up. So I have B at X equals 9 plus plus anything else? Oh, zero. <laughs> this is, so let's plug it into our equation. Remember we have, we have, we have, we have equation where he, he, the V of X equals to C3, right? From from here. Because the, our equation is just minus 0 plus C3. So if we do that uh, V of X equals 9 plus equals to 0, and I replace X by 9, but, but, the, but the equation is just C3, so I have to do here just C3, right? Plus C3 uh, e, e equals to C3. Well, C3 is equal to 0. So V of X is equal to 0. The shear is 0 for that region. All right. Let's do the moment quickly. Moment, moment. Let's start here. Moment. Um, moment of x is equal to integral of shear of x dx. So it's equal to integral of 0 dx. So it's equal to 0 plus c4. And then let's calculate the, the moment at 9 plus in order to find C4. From, from this diagram here, you do summation of moments about about point B. About point B. I'm going to do summation of moments about this point. So in case I have a question about this force, it doesn't, it, it, it doesn't come into picture in this equation. Because it is this time zero. So it will be 
this uh, we do positive Sumerian moments of autonomy equals to zero, I'm going to do positive in this direction. So I have that moment at x equals 9 plus, um, plus 180 equals to zero, right? I have to give and default that to moment. So from here I get that the moment at x equals 9 plus is equals to minus 180, right? So, if I put that into my equation here, let me put that equation here, mod of x is equal to c4, right? That's what I get from there. Um, then, the moment at x equals 9 is equal to 180, and from the equation is equal to c4. So, c4 is equal to 180. So, I'm going to put that into my equation of moment, which is which is this one, this is my equation of moment, but now I know C4, so my equation of moment at x is equal to minus 1 a. Okay? So, I don't know if you remember what we were doing. <laughs> so now we have that the equation for this thing is from A to D, from 0 to 9, from 0 to 9 is this and this, right? From 0 to 9, from A to D, this for shear, this for moment. And from, from B to C, from 9 to 13.5 is 0 for the shear and minus 180 for the moment. Now we just put those equations in a in a spreadsheet in Excel and you get this. This is what you get. That's what you get. Okay. We have 29 seconds left. Twenty. We cannot do the exact thing in twenty seconds. Six fifteen. 